Hi, it's Monday, and I'm Sean Fly. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Love Monday. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, Sean Plot. I'm Sean Bouchard. And Sorry, Lee I got is, thrown off. Lee is out today. Lee uh, And in Lee's place, we have Desperado the Cat's half head. Let me just get that out of the frame. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> and today, we continue the playthrough of the game that has the best creepy close-ups of any game that I've seen yet, it's The Excavation creepy. of Hobbs Barrow. Uh, now, before we get into that, uh, since it's just you and me, Sean, um, Lee is famous for her quips. Uh, and it's just true. general humor She's at the, at, at the at most that. unexpected time. And so I'm wondering, yeah. is there like a favorite pun or joke of yours? Or perhaps uh, just a, in general, like yeah. a fa like generally a favorite pun? Favorite like comedic technique, perhaps? Because while, while you're thinking of that, there's one that I've done for years and years and years, which is um, anytime you label something positively, you can then mm -hmm. put, and I'm here too, or one of those sorts of things. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. we have uh, here joining me today, we have the best Dota players in the world. Yes. And I am here as well. Yes. Like, that is I, good. That I is good... endlessly use this. And Britt is actually, anytime someone is giving a superlative statement about a group, she just like looks at me. She's like, he's doing it, isn't he? He's going to he's swing it <laughs> in. And I'm like, every time, baby, I know when it's time for me to come up to bat. Amazing. I have always been a fan of the anti-joke. Uh, uh, I think because I'm a I'm like a formalist at heart, but anytime anytime that you like present structurally a joke and then you break the structure, the old the old uh like uh, a man walks into a bar and the next guy ducks. Um like that kind oh, of thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that sort of like surrealism uh, where where things just keep taking yes. wild turns. Exactly, exactly. There's one that only really works in print that I saw, I think just today. There's like um uh uh like a a, a priest um oh, what's the uh no no one helped What's a third religion? I don't like a, like a like a priest, priest and a rabbi and uh something else. A cleric. It's it's, it's a cleric. A, a priest, a cleric and a rabbit go into a bar. A uh rabbit? uh uh uh, not not to a bar. Sorry, a, a priest, a priest. A, oh my god, I forget this. A priest, a cleric, and a rabbit. A rabbit, like literally a rabbit, walk not a rabbi. A, walk into, uh, walk, go up, go to a blood drive, and they're asked, uh, "What is your blood type?" And the rabbit says, "I think I'm a typo." Oh my god, I, that is not a joke you should say when there's a host who also does a bulldozer impersonation. <laughs> Sean, back up! That's it's right. Terrible. Did you it's mean terrible. a rabbi? Oh my god, that's so good. That's the greatest. Got there. Oh yeah, no, anti jokes are the best. It's pineapple upside down jokes that just like they're more satisfying yeah. to say than they are to hear. I think, <laughs> it's, uh, with the exception mm -hmm, of what we just mm -hmm. did on air, that was a joy. No, no, to no hear totally for sure. That was the best one to hear. No, 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 because no, in the same vein, I'm a big fan of the like long walk. Uh, jokes and the like. Do you know the um, uh, the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? Have you have you heard that one? It's like there's a a, a a couple in Soviet Russia who are arguing about whether this level of precipitation counts as rain, and they run into uh, a member of the Communist Party. His name is Rudolph, and they ask him, and then they continue arguing, and uh, and and the punchline is she says like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Um, like that kind of shit. I'm, I am, I always enjoy that. But like when you tell that joke, it's six minutes long. Yeah. Oh right? yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the only way to actually tell it. Oh yeah. No, I, and I think that a pun that requires way too much build up to where you actually have to slow down when it's time for the punchline. So you don't fuck mm -hmm. it up. That's, mm -hmm. that's an, that's an A plus kind of joke. Oh yeah. Yeah. And with, no, with, I agree. with that in mind, since we are uh, now officially a joke free broadcast as Lee is that's out. Right. Um, we're going to be playing the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, which, you know, I got to say, I love the mood that it's setting. It's good. So to catch up to where we are with yeah. this very dramatic drum music, as she just, I, and I got to say, th this this pixel art is really good. It is, yeah, I've, yes. I've rarely seen reflections in pixel arts done quite so well. Um, 
with the uh what, what the fuck what oh what? shit Lee <laughs> fucked up by being unable Damn. to attend a night <laughs> oh yeah okay so in this our we the protagonist have been invited out to this town music keeps escalating I don't know if I can compete with this uh, we've been invited out to this town because we're an excavator. We go to crypts, we look for various interesting artifacts from the past, and upon arriving to this town, no one will talk to us, everyone hates that we're there, everyone wants us to leave, no one wants to answer anything about Hobbs yeah. and Barrow, and we're starting to encounter Or the guy things. that we're supposed to meet, what was his name? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I, like, some dude. We're supposed to meet some dude. He didn't show up. Nobody wants to talk about him. Yeah, like, all the names from all these adventure games are blurring together. I think there's, like, a Duluth or a Danvers or something like that, so... Yeah. So, we, in the course of trying to find where Hobbs Barrow is, trying to explore around, um, we've met this priest who was, like, really sick and puked, and we, like, let some of his blood out, and he kindly, graciously oh, took us all the way across this huge collection of crypts to this house and, and the we... fens like through the through the swamp or something yeah so um we we got here and we're currently suspecting that this dude is no longer here oh i think i right, right. to read it like i'm uh, pretty sure he's dead in there oh that's yeah that's what i think beauty Oh, yeah, Leonard Shoulder. How could we forget Mr. Shoulder? Leonard, Leonard Shoulder. Beauty. All right. Well, let's... I, I figure we're just going to talk to Father Roach and figure out what's happening. Let's do it. Let's figure it out. What else do you know about Mr. Shoulder? A reclusive man. I must say I know very little about him. Does he attend services at St. Edmund's? Not regularly, if at all these days. Perhaps he feels closer to God out here on the moors. But what do you make of Mr. Shoulder's residence? A sturdy construction, I'm in no doubt. The winds blow a gale out here, not to mention the pelting rain. <laughs> At least he must have plenty of eggs to eat. Awful creatures, those hens. Awful creatures, huh? You know, the... <laughs> I love seeing this house, and, you know, I live in L.A. That's so when I see a house this size, I'm like, yeah, this is like $3 million. This is, like, yeah, yes. this is a luxury yeah. house. <laughs> With a chimney? Are you kidding me? And it's so funny to hear, like, hey, what do you like about, what do you think about this house? And he's like, I think the construction is impressive. It can hold, <laughs> withstand up to three different types of weather conditions. Like, if you have a house that leaks and is nearby a highway in L.A., it's another million dollars on the asking price. Like, Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you know that young no, girl? It's no, but I've seen her sneaking around the churchyard. The poor thing is feral. She takes off at the slightest stirring. We will bring the Lord to her. Good time. Perhaps she has her own beliefs. You said there were others like her. Primitive folk, yes. Avoid the moors in hours of darkness and don't wander too far. I wouldn't entrust a young woman in their company. Hmm. Yeah, so like the, the entire structure of this game is very much so what I like about mystery and horror, which is that, like, most games say, here is your goal. And then the question is, how are you going to overcome the obstacles in the way of the goal? Be it, like, you know, trying to sure. get to the police station in Sam and Max, or trying to win the video game of Dota 2 that is now transitioned to some fucking new thing. I don't know if you saw the Dota <laughs> patch news, Sean. No, I have not. Dude, look, it... I need to talk about this, okay? Yeah, like, tell me about this. So, regularly, the game of Dota will change the values on some characters. Mm -hmm. So, and like lots of value changes. So, for instance, if there's this one ranged dude that's really, really strong in the game, you might yeah. not want to play a melee support because the ranged dude will just, you know, shit on you from a distance. But then if they weaken that ranged support, I now get to play this melee support even though they didn't change the numbers on the melee support, maybe there's a hero that the melee support can now enable. And so right. suddenly two untouched characters pop up when another one gets suppressed or totally. buffed and all this sort of thing. And so it makes the game really exciting and thrilling and neat to play over time. And sometimes they even do things like they introduce new heroes and new items and every now and again, a new mechanic. 
So, um, they just dropped this patch where they made the map 40% bigger. And they wow. added, like, eight new objective types in the game. Wow. I mean, like, literally, just it's like someone just took a table and just, like, flipped it. And they're like, no, I'm going to make a new fucking game. The, the changes Damn. are so huge that their player base, their peak concurrency, grew 33%. Holy shit. They were normally peaking wow. at like 600k players, and then it dropped, and then they immediately went to 800k players. Amazing. It's so good. So anyways. That's like, incredible. Okay, all right. So, so I've been thinking a lot about like Dota, and again, this is a, you need to win. How are you going to win? And that's the compelling thing. That's why I'm bringing it sure. up, because now there's new things to consider. But like, dude, this game is just mystery and mood. Who were those people in the movies yeah. that we walked by? Who is this cat with the best animation of all time? Why was this yeah. priest vomiting? And why doesn't he want people to know about it? Why is everyone in Beulet not telling us what the fuck is up? And where is Leonard's shoulder? Oh my yeah. god! And I just and I just want to know some stuff. Do you know anything else? I about do too. I a hundred percent agree. Uh, and you're absolutely right in your analysis. Like, I don't have an objective yet. Like, presumably to excavate at Hobbs Barrow? Yeah. At some point? But like... Alright. Hands, why Also... You... Oh yeah, go ahead. This guy's got, like, a whole Shakespeare thing going on. Yeah. What is your favorite of Shakespeare's works? A very difficult question, Miss Bateman. But one I can answer, nonetheless. <laughs> Who talks I'm like that? I'm awfully fond of Amazing. Cymbeline. An unusual choice. All gold and silver rather turn to dirt. Wouldn't you agree? A fine quote. Right. I don't know Cymbeline. I don't, I, it, it sounds made up. It's probably not real. Why don't it's you like Ken's father? I know I must love all of God's creatures, <laughs> but God is wrong. Such an unholy ruckus, <laughs> and their talons claw at my boots. But they mean no harm, and they provide eggs. I cannot abide hen's eggs. They smell of sulfur when rotten. What more can what? you tell me of okay. these primitive folk? I'm very stinky. I just trust the Lord. Don't concern yourself with them. They live out there on the very edges of this land. If you don't wander too far, you shouldn't cross their path. This is how people in my high school talked about gamers when I attended it. <laughs> They're very gross. They sit at that table and talk about tabletop role-playing. Gross. Simply don't speak to them. All right, let's ask Mrs. DePlancy. You mentioned that Mrs. DePlancy is worried about something at the moment. It is not my place to say. Mrs. DePlancy will tell you in good time, if she deems it fit to do so. Is there a Mrs. Shoulder? No. I believe Mr. Shoulder has led a life of celibacy. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Is that what you believe? I believe he finds warm company with the hens. Slightly damp. I have a similar one myself. Oh, so God. Now I also hate hens' eggs. Yeah. That glove looks familiar. Oh, we got the white glove. Oh, I oh if shit. The glove I found behind the plow and furrow. Well, let's let's just do it. Use glove with glove. Oh my Use god. Glove with glove. Use glove with glove. Use glove with glove. Use glove with Gloves glove. Are a pair. Does like you just mean don't Mr. care. Shoulder was in the alley last night. Why didn't he come inside to see me? Perhaps he's gone for a stroll. Possibly. I'd suggest you call back later, my child. I myself must make my way back home. I have some matters to attend to with the church. Shall I accompany you back to Beulah? Like binge eating. Do do we um do we get like a map that allows us to come back here? I'm gonna say no to find out what happens because I'm I'm interested in the same question. No, you go ahead, Father. Thank you. As you wish. Farewell, Miss Bateman. I hope Mister Shoulder finds his way to you. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. My pleasure. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, and Juliet, that's right? Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Romeo and Juliet. Correct. That I shall say good night till it be morrow. You've proven yourself to be an impeccable scholar of the bard, my mm. child. Oh hell yes! Be with you, and also with you. Achievement well, unlocked. Mr. Shoulder, you've brought me to Bewley, and now you're nowhere to be found. 
And oh, there's another thing that this game does that's like really interesting is that like the the this kind of game typically doesn't give you the character the option to have an identity. And but it's given us like really severe choices like right at the start. It's like, do you want to lie to this man or do you want to slap him? And like those are the two options. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. I've no desire to love. It's true. The trousers feel damp, freshly hung, or still wet from last night's rain. Oh, you know, good so I, I'm, question. I'm gonna knock again. No sign of any movement. Uh, throw a chicken through the window. I've come a long way is. to meet you, Mr. Shoulder. Please open the door. The priest a is gone. The stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. Huh. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Can't believe it's done this. A carved stone has been, I think, a sweet little hen, plump and well groomed. <laughs> You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! That's all we did is we just lifted him up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! I'm picking up this hen. He looks much too unruly to be picked up. Oh I'm nope, that's pick, the oh, shit. I'm picking, sweet little thing. Oh, picking him up again. Go. Yeah, fucking let's let's get back down. That was a good run. That was nice. Heck yes, heck yes. Do you want to follow me? Okay, all right. Reading into randomness. <laughs> You're a sweet little thing, aren't uh, you? Oh, sweet. You can pick up all of the white chickens. I wonder if that's. All right, let me let me slap this chicken with my hook. I do not wish hooks. to harass the hen. Harass the hen. I do not wish to harass the rooster. <laughs> Two different voice lines. <laughs> if this were it's amazing. If this were a budget game from a really big studio, it would be like I do not wish to harass the feathered creature, and they would just use that for both. <laughs> All right, so I, I, I've done um, a little pixel hunt, a pixel unt. I, uh, I Metal Vessel in the chat is pointing out that. Moors, I oh. made a new resolution. All right, hold oh, on. Applause a new the resolution. Reaper. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, just uh, Metal Vessel is recalling uh, one of my favorite things in a game is when there's two identical dialogue options, but one of them says lie at the end. Uh, and I just want to confirm that that is true and that is still true. That is still one of my favorite things. Wait, what do you mean two identical dialogue options, but one like says lie? When you, you, you're given a list of dialogue options, and one of them is like, uh, uh, you know, uh, that dress looks good on you. And then the next one is, that dress looks good on you, in parentheses, lie. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen that. That's so good. <laughs> no, oh it's awesome. Oh my god, awesome. that's literally how I operate. That's so good. <laughs> it's, Everything I uh, say a lot is of, lie. A lot of the older Bioware games would do that, and games like that. Fallout games probably do that, too. Oh, yeah. I would find Hobbs Barrow myself, with or without Mr. Shoulder. Oh, we have resolved to do the thing. The train. That must be Kenneth. I should go and meet him at the station. All right. Is that, is the bench dedicated to somebody? Oh, it's, what was the name of the, the... A bird man in shard light. I like don't remember. Oh man, uh, yeah, the raven dude. The reaper, um, yeah, like the reaper, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the way. But there, there's so many points of interest already. Excuse me. Do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. Sweet, we got a trowel. Less to give than to receive. But receiving is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's especially in an adventure game. You've acquired a trowel. Dude, screw it. I'm not fast traveling. My character's gonna walk. You gotta burn carbs somehow, you know. Exactly. Get those steps in. But I Where heard is Kenneth? Is this? Are we in a like parallel dimension? He was supposed like, to uh, meet me at the station. Like the Silent Hill movie. Maybe. 
or like in broken pieces, which I presume is still what's happening. Or like, in that. or like in broken. Yeah, I, I think that's Mr. what's Tillett, happening in broken pieces. Where did you go last night? Have we met? Last night at the Plow and Furrow. <laughs> oh, Miss Bet. Long silence. Woke up with a stinking headache. You still smell mm. like a brewery. I'm sorry. You went to use the lavatory and never came back, Mr. Tillett. I searched everywhere for you. After I smacked you in the I face. I think I remember you bought me a drink. Then it's all a blur. I woke mm. up in my bed this morning with my wife sour at me for waking her at some ungodly hour. Hmm. Here we go. I'm going straight into Kenneth. Let's do it. I, I, I do want to know about Kenneth. Kenneth. Oh, I. His train has arrived. Not a single soul disembarked the last train, Miss Bateman. Impossible. <laughs> she doesn't make a very compelling impossible. argument. Impossible. Inconceivable. Yeah. I think it's saying just blurting out impossible at arbitrary times is something we need to do more. How's your pasta? Especially oh, to like impossible. a statement of fact. Yeah. Right, like, you know, <laughs> what time is it? 12.04. Impossible! Oh, yeah, and it's just <laughs> literally 12.04. You can see it on any clock. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna... We're gonna... Dude, I know that my cat is healing for three reasons. Mm. One, she wanted to play fetch. Oh, dang. And yeah. the thing that she plays fetch with is hot sauce packets. <laughs> so, I was throwing little mild sauce packets around, and she's like, getting them. She's like batting them around daintily grabbing it and dropping it off. Second, though she's always capable of scratching me, only mm -hmm. when she has a lot of energy does she bite me. Mm. But the third and biggest reason why I know she's better is she's starting to feel heavy. She's <laughs> starting to chunk up. I feel these little kitty hips getting padded because I'm feeding her the absolute chunkiest cat food, man. It's so good. Amazing. Impossible. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Impossible. Impossible. Mm. Hobbs Barrow. It's why Leonard Shoulder invited me to Bewley. He thought I might like to excavate it. Oh, I. I heard about a Hobbs Barrow somewhere out there. There's some old stories around it. What stories? I can't what? remember. Mr. Tillich, wow. Please. This guy has it's like important. a real pacing oh, sorry, Mr. to his dialogue. Yeah, it's I'll something else. Remember. If he invited you here, then I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you all about it. That's if I ever get to meet him. He's dead sure in the barrel. Will. I can't get my chair. My, Was that not the midday correct. train from London by way of Derby? Aye, it were. Mr. Price were here, unloaded a few crates. But no Kenneth. We Not get a, a soul. Hold on. One of them crates had your name on it, Miss Bateman. Yeah, Great fuck yeah. Big one it were with I, a red ribbon. With inventory Aye. objects. What is Kenneth playing at sending my equipment, but not himself. Curses. Curses. Oh, I realized, like, yeah, you can literally lie on the keyboard. I don't need the keyboard. About last night. There you go, oh, there you go. I do uh, love mouse-only games. What were you going There's to tell about me about that, Leonard that Shoulder? Who? Leonard Shoulder. <laughs> you told me you knew him. And promised to tell me more if I bought you a drink. Which I did. So what were you going to tell me? I, uh... Oh, <laughs> I don't really know the old bugger. But you said you did. Well, I'm manipulative. Oh, I... Yeah. Uh, no, no. I, I really I just... Note about I really him. wanted no, a drink. Note about Leonard Shoulder. Note. He took off a glove and... Slapped me with it last night. <laughs> um. So Lee's not here, and Lee was in full honesty. Send it, but like you know, this, there's a difference between honesty and forcefulness. Are we are we a forceful being here? Yeah, that's a good. This is not really a question of honesty. I don't think because uh, maybe he is telling the truth, mm -hmm. but I also think he's probably hiding something. Um, I feel like this dude. Well. So here's the thing. I looking at this dude, yeah. I don't think it's going to pay off to be confrontational. But yeah. I also don't think it's going to pay off to I don't think it's going to pay off either way. I think I'm feeling I need some emotional catharsis. 
Let's do the one with the ex exclamation point at the end. Yeah. You're hiding something, Mr. Tillett. I don't believe you. I say a lot of things when I've got the drink in me. I probably just wanted you to buy me an ale. A likely story. Look, what would I gain from I mean, that, I do. You? That is the pretty I likely just story. wanted honestly. another drink. Even if that's the case, it doesn't explain your disappearance. I, I don't remember out. Hmm. Dude, let me tell you, I love the way he uses that distancing language. I'm not myself when the drink gets me. Like the drink is doing it to him. He's not. He's not. It's not like yeah, when I drink. True. Sometimes you go, no, just that damn drink. I'm sorry. I get a little. I get a little flustered when the bad decision making gets me. <laughs> About last night. You really don't remember where you went last night. As I say, it's all a blur. I remember needing a piss. Then nothing. Then I now to miss me when I came out. I did not. I even went to the gents' toilets to find you. Oh, I a sight for sore eyes. This guy is it not was. listening to the salient details of the story. And you were nowhere to be found. The back door leading to the alleyway was blocked from the outside. Oh, I. Yes. You must have exited through that door, Mr. Tillett. But you just said it were blocked. There must be an explanation. <laughs> okay, I'm going to alternate saying impossible and there must be an explanation. I feel yeah. like between those it? two responses, that's remember. pretty much every situation yeah. covered, right? Because I remember Nout. Nout. Mm. I found Mr. Shoulder's house, but he wasn't home. Don't worry, you'll find him. I found his house. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Mr. Shoulder. I found the house of Mr. Shoulder. Oh, man. How's your headache faring? It feels like a steam engine is driving full pelt in a circle around my skull. Be sure to drink plenty of water, Mr. Tillett. Aye, aye. I'll survive. <laughs> Railway station, crate, so and... So, you work here? Now I have some ideas when we get back to the town the square. Sweet, 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 sweet. Would you like to buy a ticket? Not just yet, thank you. I understand that some of the locals are not too happy about this new station. I, I'd go as far as saying the whole village. How long has the station been open for? About three months. We're on the Midland Railway Line. Three months. This employer must have been a savior for me. If I weren't stood here, I'd be drinking my life away at the pub right now. It's worth the occasional withering look from Cyril and the rest of them. Who's Cyril? Uh, Cyril is the operator of the establishment, as far as I understand. I see, I see, okay. Also, Dr. Jeebus, 8401, happy 100 month anniversary. Hey, very nice. 100 monthos. Oh, yes. Amazing. Dr. Jeebus, mwah. There you go. Now let's just keep finding out what the hell is going wrong. What does a station master do? A bit of this and a bit of that. I don't wish to bore you with such things. As you wish. My responsibilities <laughs> here keep me on the straight and narrow. I'll tell you that much. A sense of duty can do wonders for a lost soul. Indeed. This must be a rather lonesome post to occupy. Trains pass through here more regularly than you might think, lass. It's thrilling. <laughs> I mean, well, it doesn't answer the question. This must be lonely. No, there's trains. <laughs> all the conversation I need. Where is my crate now? Mr. Price took away all the crates on his cart. Who? Mr. Price. He's the postmaster. Where can I, I find see. Mr. Price? He lives above the storeroom, just north of the plow and furrow. You'll see it. There's a royal mail plaque on the wall. Thank you. Okay. All right. Farewell for now. Ta-ra. 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 Oh, shit. <gasps> it's a cat. It's not just any cat. It's the cat. It's the cat with the animation. Whoa. Yeah. Yo, what up, Cyril? Hey, Cyril. Cyril. I forgot oh, you. Us. All right, Cyril is not who I <laughs> thought that Cyril was, but, you know, what can you do? What are you up to, yeah. Cyril? Keeping an eye on that bleeding railway station. That's what. Thankfully, no one got off the last train. Really hate Thankfully. that station, don't you? Oh, oh right! I do remember this guy. This is how I from the from the very beginning. There's no place for outsiders. Oh right. Nobody nobody is allowed to come into this town. 
Almost time to celebrate with an ale, I think. I could do with one myself. You pay in? Uh, no. <laughs> I found Mr. Shoulder's house so today, but he wasn't home. Why the bleeding owl should I care, lass? <laughs> the bleeding owl. I'm looking for Hobbs. Oh brother. man, this you know guy. Mind your own business, lass. Hey, how's it going? Don't fucking ask me things. Goodbye. So good. Ta-ra, lass. Ta-ra. Ta-ra. And go. Welcome back, Desper. You know, that's actually not think anyone where is you home. can go. I I'm do. in that. I, that's a full frame picture of Despy there. Come on. Come on. Okay, yo, here, right here. Here's my here's my Why hand. Why are you knocking on me bleeding jaw? I'm right here, you tough bugger. Oh, apologies. Oh. Okay. I'm so a couple of things. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna do the most basic thing of all. And all I'm right. just gonna go straight over to my crate. Right. Just gonna go to my crate. Yeah, no, I wanna see the crate. I'm excited about the crate. I think it's the it's to the left, but oh, I thought it was right here. The f oh fart shit, right? Okay. Very dramatic reaction for me. <laughs> oh my god! With the little red placard on the door. I don't think anyone is home. What? Someone's fucking home, dude. Thank you. I don't know if the mic picked up any of that, but it was loud and dramatic. Yeah. No response. Where's my crate? That must be the postmaster's storeroom. Ah, this must be the Hello. postmaster. Good day. Oh. I haven't seen you in Bewley before. I'm just visiting. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> the emphasis nice on Bewley. We don't get many visitors. My name's Henry. Henry Low. Nice to meet you, Henry. Thomasina Bateman. Wonderful. What Wonderful. You have a name. Wonderful. Amazing. Wonderful. I'm really, 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 really lonely. <laughs> <laughs> the only other person on the on Tinder here is Cyril. <laughs> All right. You seem in a good mood, Mr. Long. It's just lovely to see a new face. Where are you from, Miss Bateman? What are you? <laughs> Originally, um, he a does, small okay. town on the outskirts of Derby, Mr. Long. No, it's fine. Currently reside in London. I'm not convinced London. that he's harmless. I've never Seems met creepy as hell. London? How very exciting. Have you lived there a long time? <laughs> it's been quite a few years now, yes. <laughs> I've heard that the air there is so heavy with smoke, it makes it hard to breathe. Is that true? Some days. Oh, you must miss the fresh northern air. Well, you've got that in Bewley. No factories out here. <laughs> Such things are a blight on his creation. I were born in this very home I stand in front of. Bewley is in my blood. Why would I ever want to leave? <laughs> Especially now I can meet new folk thanks to the railway line. <laughs> I've only ever seen five things. <laughs> like, <It's>, I, <laughs> uh, I was at I was at a um I was at a luncheon today for like uh, admitted students to USC, uh, yeah. and there was a speaker who was a historian. Uh, one of the professors in history was talking about a whole thing. But it roundabout. One of the things that he talked about, he told this little anecdote about um, uh, a, a journal thing that he has in yeah. the context of in the 1810s. Uh, if you were a farmer in upstate New York then it conceivably you would never leave like a five mile radius. You would live your entire life within like a five mile like space. Uh, and so he was telling a story about this girl who, whose family for some reason, unknown reason, moved 17 miles away. Uh, and uh, he has this scrapbook that her friends made and gave her, basically saying, like, goodbye, we're never going to see you again. 
Oh, that's because you're, fucking awesome. Because you're moving 17 miles away. I mean, that's uh, fucking crazy, dude. It's just, it's like insane to me to think about uh, the difference between, like, you know, the difference a couple hundred years makes. Yeah, because, because what was it, the, uh, I realized that I can just, like, literally show the top of my green screen, and it, like, doesn't matter. Yeah, you can. There uh, you go. Just adjust this thing, so I don't reap any cards out. But, like, dude, it's, it's kind of incredible to me that if you got on a boat and, like, sailed across the sea, often, that was just it. You'd be like, all right, bye forever. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Oh, it's crazy. It's just, like, unbelievable. I'm looking for Mr. Price, the postmaster. You've heard of me. Oh, Amazing. Mr. Price, my lovely neighbor. Oh. I'm afraid you've just missed him. Curses. I saw him wheeling a large crate into his <laughs> storeroom just there. It must be mine. I really need it. Have a look through the window to see if it's... I yours. mean, I guess you do need it because you're out of money, right? Yeah, we're broke. Where did Mr. Price go? I don't know. The man were in a hurry. I know he has family in Bakewell. That's miles away. Did he leave by foot? No, by horse. He must be a few miles down huh. the road. Have you heard of one? Curses. When will Mr. Price be back? He didn't say. Could be tonight. Could be a few days. How infuriating. I told him I'd keep watch of his storeroom. And I'm a man of my word, Miss Bateman. I love you. I shall you. not budge from this spot. Duct taped my feet to the ground. All right. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, funny old fellow. I hear he lives way out on the moors somewhere. Have you seen him recently? No, not for a long while now that you mention it. Damn. Why do you ask? It's a long story, but I was to meet him in Bewley. He invited me here. God, well, I love the name I must Bewley. Thank him when I see him. For Bewley. Such an enchanting young woman. You flatter me, Mr. Long. God, and, and some guys still talk like that, too. Wow, I'm really <laughs> lucky to be sitting next to a beautiful woman like you. Ha! Huh? Funny that we got a sign next to each other on the table. It might even be fate. Oh, boy, you sure are pretty. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. One of those old burial hills. Yes. Uh... Do you know where it is? Believe it or not, I haven't set foot on the moor since I were a child. Never left this porch. Why is that? I've got all I need right here in Bewley. Bewley. We truly blessed with Bewley. the railway station, which brings us lovely new faces. Your opinion of the railway station differs widely from your fellow townsfolk, Mr. Long. I've not met anyone particularly keen on it. That railway line is the start of a new era for Bewley. Mark my words, there's much to protect here, but we need new blood. I yeah, hope like... that some of you visitors will actually stay here permanently. Why is that? So I have new friends to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everyone here. <laughs> Cyril Farnaby, the miserable old sod, is the worst offender. Dude, yeah, like I, 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 he, this guy is just barely on the wrong side of the line of like friendly and creepy. He's like on the creepy yes. side. Yeah, like, and if he backed yeah. off just a little, just bit. a little bit, sure just a little bit. bit. Cyril, he really dislikes the railway station. Absolutely miserable he is. I've tried to convince him many times that the station will help Yuli. He just doesn't understand. I met him last night in the plough and furrow. Aye, the scene of our many debates. Blimey, I could go for a nail right now, actually. Oh, do you want to go to the plough and furrow? Oh, or are you unallowed to leave your post unless I need my crate? Can I buy you a drink? Really? No, wait. Do you think Mr. Yeah, I have no money. Perhaps. You could always ask him. Hmm. I shouldn't leave anyway. Mr. Price is relying on me to keep watch of his storeroom. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I actually think the game should always let you click on the goodbye dialogue. I might be a curmudgeon, but I think there's something that's so startlingly abrupt about your character out of nowhere going, I Bye. agree. I it, I think I don't think I've ever seen this done. Postmaster isn't home. If but if you did, if you post, had a different line for automatically exiting dialogue, so it was like, uh, well, I suppose that's all. Goodbye. Um, oh, there's my crate. I, I feel like that would Kenneth work better. Always ties a red ribbon to it. 
I can see an envelope tucked behind the ribbon. Perhaps it can help explain Kenneth's absence. Hello, I'm dead. I'm going to have to get in there. Um, we have a trowel. Wait, can we dig a tunnel under the... I promise, Mr. Price, I keep... I'm, I'm ready to tempt you. Royal Mayor okay, but what about our pretty be... face? Yeah, like, I'm... I dare say enchanting. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. Alright, well... So here's the thing. There's... There's a few locations that are of super-duper ultra interest to me. The I'm... first is actually back here, where there was a grave. Mm. And we have a trowel. And so we're, we're not... Do. We we're could not, dig up a body. We're not grave digging, we're grave troweling. This That's appears right. to be a recently dug, unmarked grave. Okay, that is... There may be a barrel digger, weird. but I'm no grave robber. But, like, isn't that really just semantics at this point? <laughs> uh, she does have to sleep at night. Um, is that a... Them. They could be poisonous. I mean, that is clearly a fairy ring. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. Okay. Wait, can we not go back to Leonard Shoulder's house? Uh, we have to go to the right to get there. That's a peculiar idea. Really using a trowel to dig up mushrooms? I don't know, I'm crazy. Maybe you just, like, you know, should take your mushrooms. Because <laughs> Leonard's shoulder is this way. I have a trowel. I'm ready to go inspect his shit. Oh, okay. What a peculiar name. The Devil's Toe. I can't quite oh, yeah, see the resemblance I myself. About the Devil's Toe. Yeah, the DT. Yeah, can you trowel it? To dig it up. You don't? Really? I have this ship rib here. Are you an adventure game protagonist or not? Uh, break Mr. the window with a trowel. To... Let me try to peel this off with a trowel. That is not coming off. Well, all right. I guess we're done then. I guess that is that. Black. Margaret's looking. Oh, there is a plaque. Oh, good. I wonder who Margaret is. Or what? Is there was? Okay, Can so we there, ask? Well, there's a few places we've yet to visit, and I am... Yeah, let's an, do that. I'm in an exploratory mood. So I'm sure that Priest Roach is in there. I don't think we chose to go in there yet. Now, where okay. does this way go to? I assume that it is the front of the village. Yep, sure is. This is looking to be laid out very much so as an adventure game is laid out. Yep. Yep. Looks like there's no vomit lurking around. <laughs> a quick scan of pixels. <laughs> quick, quick vomit scan. Yep, yep. The once upon a time was a vomit. There's a hole. Um, there is a hole. What happens if I go through this exit? There's a southern I shall see you later Whoa. This Oh, dear God! There's a bunch well, of people. I say, greetings, my dear. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty. For I shall see you again soon. Wait. Okay. Oh, what? Who the if fuck I'm... are you? Some nerve. <laughs> Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. What? She's blushing. Oh my god. All right. Do you want to talk right. to man, man, or man? <laughs> uh, man. Right. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. So who? Who? Lord Panswick. Now get back before Panswick. you find yourself under a falling tree. Who, who's right. Lord Panswick? Yeah. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back it's to... He's a whole ass now. governor. He lives in Bewley. Aye, <laughs> uh, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions or visitors. Here now I come. please leave us to our work. All right, the arrogant man. Tell me, yeah, who's who that? was that arrogant man here just now? 
Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. Oh, sheriff's on the okay. move. Dude, I, I, I've stood My up name for two is seconds. Thomasina I gotta sit down. Oh, I. <laughs> You're not from round here, Thomasina Bateman. No, just visiting. All right, keep going. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. I am indeed. Because I talked to this guy, and this guy's talking. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Hey. We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods. Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Beoli. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? <laughs> no, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? Why are you no. gathering logs for There's Lord There's still Panswick? two more dialogue yeah, options. You ask a lot of questions. <laughs> if you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? Sure. An old chapel. I should rather yeah. like to see it. Not well, possible. Everyone's meowing. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. Come on, Sheriff. I'm right here. You don't have to meow out the door. You can actually Hi, Sheriff. Do you know where I can find a place My called children, Hobbs man. Barrow? Never heard of it. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. Second Swift were wisely spent searching everywhere we went. I have what, no is, what is that? Go... Uh, that's one of those mazes that, like, they're, the puzzle is that if you look at the first letter in the rhyme, it tells you where to go south, west, or east. Second uh, Swift it. were wisely spent. South, south, yep. west, west, south. It's so good. That so is so good. good. So fucking awesome. So let's see. I can go basically this way. Okay. So there's. Did there's... you you looked at the hole and there was nothing? Yeah. She's like, why would I look at a hole? Did you did you dig it with the trowel? I'm not sure what. I got this brand new trowel and I wanna I, no I wanna use it with everything. I'm ready to go troweling around. I'm ready to have a trowel on the town. So, all right, so if we go back this way and then to the right, we'll re-enter the town. Um, so, we can start asking some Good people day. about Margaret. And, oh, look at this, it's one of these. Oh, ones. Lord Panswick. Lord Panswick. His lordship commands much respect around here. Oh, shit. Keeps me busy with work. Here. Why Here. do you ask? Just curious. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cat drama going on in Sean's neck of the woods there. there. There's a certain sound she makes when she's like getting, like starts scraping on a box when she's like, I'm gonna piss in that box. Oh, yep. Mm. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's close. Are you sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Sorry, lass. Thanks for your time. Hi. Right. Speak to you later. All right. Time to talk to these people. Tell me about the Lord. Good Who's day. your Lord? Hello, miss. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Not a lot. I know he's in charge around here. Does he come to the village often? Not really. He has a manor out on the moors. Have you ever been there? Heavens, no. Villages aren't allowed there. Why not? Don't know. It's just the way it is. Mm. Just the way it is. Dude, she is like absolutely my speed. I don't know, can't do it, yeah. she just can't. I don't ask any questions, I just don't. That's it. Are you sure you know nothing of Hobbs Barrow? I really must find it. Super duper. I'm sure. Goodbye. Bye, miss. All right, let's ask this little turkey. Hello. E yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you know about Lord Panswick? He gave me some sweets once. My friend says that Lord Panswick has special trees at his manor that grow sweets on their branches. Do you think that's true, miss? I think that's very unlikely. A fruit tree? We think a fruit tree is unlikely? Uh, yeah, no, Are I agree. You sure you know nothing of Hobbs Barrow? Are you 100% positive? Like a wheelbarrow? Never mind. Impossible! Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. <laughs> Impossible! Man, I gotta adjust this more. This, this table's way too high up. <laughs> Dude, this is the one problem with the standing desk because it feels great to stand up, and then when you go sit back down, all your heights are off. Hello. <laughs> it's true. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Not to say, 
Except don't be sniffing around his lordship's manor. You'll end up with a round of shot in you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Just mind your own business around <laughs> A lot of bullets. Damn. Jesus. Absolutely I shot really down. must find Hobbs Barrow. Super duper. What did I tell you last time? Now to be found. I don't remember. Goodbye. Now to be found. Ta da. Ta da. Sheriff. Oh my god, my children. Oh. Oh. Let's uh let's go ask the barkeeper if he'll open a tab for us and then get extremely oh. drunk. Let's get absolutely sloshy. I'm in. Man. Man. Too far gone. Come here. If you want attention, just come here. Dad is right here. She does this technique where she meows at the door until I go to her, and then she's like, oh, fucking hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's deposit my little darling. No, nope, you're going to stay here, and you're going to be snugged. Now, I hate to interrupt oh. when we have this moment of tension here. Oh. But what I need to do is I need to just... Take some energy out of this cat. I just need to give her some snugs. I know you don't like being held down and you're struggling, but I promise you, I need you to shut up. <laughs> All right. It's a good cat. Good cat. I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. Kemp, but could I please open a tab? Still not in your purse? I'm afraid not. My assistant hasn't arrived as planned, so I find myself in a bind. He must have put the money in my crate, which is currently being held in Mr. Price's storeroom. Well, as you know, I run an honest establishment here. Can I use this trowel as collateral? Don't trust you. So yes, I'll open an account for <laughs> you to be settled at the end of your stay. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Now, that actually I'll that felt like something, something that, that maybe I thought you said you trusted me. Aye. It's not personal, lass. One can never be too cautious. Alright. Okay. Alright, so Goodbye. See. You. What do we have? We have a glove, a fancy glove. Do you want this fancy glove? I probably shouldn't part with this. Oh, okay. I'm not sure of Miss. I don't think Stanley would be interested. In so I probably have to go back to my room and look at my shit. We could do that. Wait, what I are the last two things home. that we have? Just for uh, uh, it's, it's the room Father key Rage. and matches what from the room. Fuck? So you've met our vicar then. Do you want, yes, do you do. want these matches? Interesting character. <laughs> these are Indeed. extremely valuable. Yeah. So, did old Leonard apologize for his absence? Not quite. He wasn't home. What is that man playing at? You tell me. Consistently absent. I decided absent. to find Hobbs Barrow without yeah. Mr. Shoulder's aid. Are you sure that's a wise idea, lass? What other choice do I have? I have a feeling he is avoiding me. Do you know where I can find the Barrow? No, sorry. I say no. that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I actually think escalation and things like this are just underdone in life. I was having a conversation with a friend earlier where I was talking about how I think it's important to say what you are instead of what you're not. Okay. Because imagine if I was like, hey, listen, Sean, I'm not mad, but... And then I say something. You'd be like, Sean was a little mad about that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, let, like, let's say like I didn't show up on time. Look, Sean, no one's frustrated at you. We're just happy to see you. It immediately implies that it's something wrong. It's like, hey, we're happy to see 100%. you. That's it. It's amazing. And this guy is doing the, the opposite of this in incredible yeah. ways. Yeah. Do you know what time it is? No, I swear on my mother's grave. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I swear to God. I'd tell you. If I knew I would tell you, don't think I wouldn't. I would never keep this sort of information from you. My assistant has not arrived as planned. Oh, is everything all right? I'm not entirely sure. Am I to keep a room for him just in case? If you could hold it for one more night, Mr. Kemp. As you wish. As you pay. What can you tell me about right. Lord Panswick? Most charming man, Miss Bateman. He looks after us here, eh? a good fellow. Where does he live? Panswick Manor, <laughs> on the moors. No visitors allowed. His lordship likes his privacy. How can I open? Leave me a night. I'll give it back to you at the end when it will be time to pay the piper. Goodbye. See you soon. 
I mean, that's pretty funny. I don't wish to take it. All right, so. I've stored my case in there. A stir yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, so, so, that's oh, what I don't wish to store that. Sheriff, for fuck's sake. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to. <laughs> oh, oh so you, you heard me take off my headphones. Hey. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Um, I'm I'm really excited at the prospect that we can just like like, do we have dresses in our wardrobe? Can we just like hand an armful of dresses over the bar to the bartender and be like, here, here is collateral. All right, I've returned. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. Okay, so... Take the dress. Jam Take the, the dress. Shirt. The wood must have warped over the years. Okay, so... What Beat it on? with a trowel. The drawers don't open. I can't store anything in them. The candle has perhaps missed... Shit, she flipped upside down. Uh, it's a nightmare. Oh, it's it's a nightmare. Take. Upside down, cat. She gets up around 5.36. She yeah. has her little dawn and dusk hours where she just meows like a psycho. I've no Crepuscular. Use I must say, last... All right, so we just need to find something of value. Yeah, uh, we just need to steal something of value. Task is clear. So I'm going to go back to the church because the one place we still haven't been is the inside of the church. Fair. Let me just knock off. I wonder if we could like red paper clip this. Like, is there, could we trade a box I of matches to that boy for his sword? Oh. And then like, trade a sword. Someone played Link's uh, Awakening, huh? Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh. Goodness me, look at these box pews. Uh, I've never seen any as tall as that before. These pewlies. usual architecture, even for the Normans. Taking it. Hmm. Someone has left a necklace hanging here. A silver cross. Sterling by the look of it. Maybe Ste I can oh, shit. it with its owner. Or maybe or I can... I can Alternative. hold it Locked. as an object of value as well. and use it for my own purposes. Be. So good. The flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. Don't want them. A memorial list. They stretch back. Oops. Well, it's so weird to have this art style and no I pixel hunting. I can admire the craftsmanship like, from afar. Right. I've no time for such thing. This must be where the local vicar. She has no time for such things. <laughs> damn! Oh, damn! She is not religious at all. Stained glass depictions of various biblical scenes. It's not my specialist area. And what is this little brick here? It's out of place. Oh shit! Well, I mean, okay. So Sean, we 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 could go linear mode. Sure. We could just try to immediately take this to the pew or the pew. Excuse me. Immediately take this to. The guy that runs these things and just yeah. give him the necklace or we yeah. could explore around i mean like what's the call uh i want to get drunk oh okay cool <laughs> yeah that sounds terrific i oh. my suspicion is that uh this will work we will give him the necklace he will open a tab uh and then i think there's nothing more that we can do uh, uh meaningfully except that maybe we could go back to um Oh, I wonder if we can go back to Creepy Dude and be like, I'll buy you a drink, bring him to the bar, and then while he's here, oh, yeah, I thought break, we in doing. Yeah. The, break into the we'll warehouse. Okay, sweet. I love it. As a deposit. Can I take a closer look at it? Can I buy it, Ted? Excuse me. This is mine! Aye, silver. That'll do. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Can I get you something to drink? Ah! Uh... <laughs> yes, please. A tank Hell of yeah! Your finest ale, Mister Kemp. That will be one million dollars. There we are. That's two pence on your account. Thank you. Cousin, 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 cousin. 
Most agreeable. And that saved your game. Mm. All right. All right, come here. Come here, you weirdo. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you a drink, Henry? Really? Really. We can talk more at the inn. But I told Mr. Price I'd keep watch of his storeroom. Doors have locks for this very reason. Oh my god, we're manipulating. Damn, persuasive. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Okay, drink Let's him under the way. table. The rocket weren't Stevenson's only design, you know. Before that, there were the Blucher and the Locomotion. But my favorite would have to be the Lancashire Witch. These are types of trains? In 1828. In Newcastle, of course. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait. Ta-da, Miss Bateman. Wait. 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 Damn. Didn't get a word in. Wait. He likes a good chinwag, our Henry. He certainly does. Chinwag. All right. Well. Well, let me ask him. Can you? Can you drug work this? Out the way. Henry Long can talk, can't he? <laughs> you a colorful this. character. The man drinks like a fish. He certainly does. I've seen him drink this place dry and still be up to tend his garden at sunrise. The man can truly hold his ale. Damn. Goodbye. Damn. So Goodbye. <laughs> Just so abrupt. Goodbye. All right, I'm out. Peace. See you later. Nadlin says fish do not drink. Yes, that's in fact all they ever do, Nadlin. All they ever do is just be drinking. That's Wait, like... hold on. Do fish not drink? Now I'm trying to like... They must, right? Fish must drink. I think I suppose that the actual scientific analysis is that we see that you need water to live. And fish, because they are dunked in water, are able to just get access to that without needing to drink it. They're just in it, so they're fine. Hmm. It's like I would imagine, uh, like because they they ingest water to breathe. That's part of their breathing process. And I would imagine that like anything else they need to do with that water happens at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that sounds right. Like, that makes it, but that's still drinking. Like they're still like taking well, in water for whatever like so, I don't know what the fuck we do with water either. So here it here blood, is my, I guess. I don't know. Here's here is where I would draw the line. Like if you have ever been to a hospital where they give you fluids, where they like do a little injection sure. and they squeeze yeah, out okay. fluids, you don't yeah. call that drinking. But you're That's still not drinking. getting it. That's fish, true. That is fish. What they do is somewhere in between an injection and consumption. They okay. they, they, they they do this with their, their little gilly guys, <laughs> with their little gilly buddies, right? And then they like they like go. <gasps> they take like a deep breath, and then they just are wetter. It's really okay. an amazing phenomenon. Okay. All right. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more ale won't hurt. I shall take you up. Let us make... All right, so what do I need to do? do I, when he's in the middle of talking, do I just beat him with this trowel? There you go. The beat him with the trowel. Powered by coupling rods. Oh, my believe? God. He has new railroad shoot. dialogue there were nothing every to. time you buy him a drink. Well, that's me. Wait. Ta-da, Miss Bay. Well, that's I'm thinking me. now... Bye. Curses. I think you owe ten I pence to now. Hobbs Barrow, not Hobbs Barrels. Oh, oh my God! Hobbs Barrels, she even unlocked. Think of anything else to talk about. All right. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna really hope that Kenneth yoked up my account before he left. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you? I suppose. What I shall let us make. <laughs> All right, because he went two, which makes me Hughley think it's the latest of many additions to the Midland Railway line. Speaking of change, one track. I the whole frontage of Derby Station is being rebuilt, designed by an architect by the name of Tubshaw, if I remember correctly. Well, what? Wait. Ta-da! 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 Mr. Long can really put away a drink. Thank goodness I've switched to water. 
Oh. Thank goodness. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you? I suppose one more. I shall take. Let us make. Do you want to have a drink? Tell me about trains. Do you want to have a drink? Tell me about trains. Do you want to have a drink? Tell me about trains. <laughs> It really is great to have someone new to talk to. Oh, I think this I've is... so many more stories to share. <laughs> I've got a podcast. Well, that's me. A bit of... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's gonna... Mr. Long. That one's Goodness, gonna loop. Switch... <laughs> the toast bone says, Do you want a drink? Hmm, well, I like trains. <laughs> Hello. Good day. Can I buy? I suppose I shall t let us. Like, I mean, I know that this is what people tune in for. Is me just doing the same it thing really looking for small? So oh shit! Well, yeah. Wait. Ta -da. That's the looper. Ta -da. Mr. Long can thank goodness. I'm gonna go dig up that grave. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's like so subtle, but like his head tracks where we walk. He does, yeah, no, that's pretty good. I, okay, so here's what we need to do. We hmm. need to convince a pretty young woman to move to Bewley. I can't think of anything. And then distract him long enough yeah. that we There's can break else. into the post office. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been through this door. It's locked. Oh, well, that's why. Hmm. Now, I can't tell if this is like, we need to go to sleep. Oops. Can we go to sleep? We, I don't think we can. I, I, think, I think these days are tracked. Here I think they're Margaret plot days. Tillett, beloved mother, wife, Margaret. and sister. Today she dances with angels. Wait, Tillit is the name of the drunk at the railway station, right? Yeah. John, dearly beloved husband of Florence. Wow. Forever in light, Anne Kemp. Joseph Davis. Samuel Bryden. Death is only a shadow across the path to heaven. Here lies Elizabeth Farnaby. Elizabeth Farnaby. This appears to be a recent. William Paxton, modest and. All right, I'm going back to these people. I'm going to be like, tell me about your your loved dead ones. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> Do, can I pay Hello. you with credit? Good day. You're out of silver necklaces. Father Roach asked me not to discuss that with Mrs. De Plancy. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh shit. Dude. Oh shit! I don't know. I mean, Lee's not here. I'm ready to be a piece of shit, man. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Father Roach seems rather under the weather, don't you think? Father Roach? The man is as fit as a lad half his age. What makes you say that? I found him in the woods in a state of considerable distress. Oh my! This is very worrying. I must check on him later. I had no idea. Hmm. Hey. You should maybe check on him right now. How about right now? And In leave fact, your stand unattended. Yeah. Oh, look, Scandalmonger got the achievement. Fuck yeah. Also, Waffles the dog. Thank you. Happy Monday, Waffles. What a good Waffles. dog. Oh, what a good dog. What a good dog. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. But for whom and to what god, I ask? What is god? Jesus. <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. It doesn't stop him from acting as our god-given <laughs> god. ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Yeah, don't get leprechaun. yourself tangled up in local affairs. I certainly don't intend to. Super duper no. Dude, Leprechaun 5000 also swinging in with five gifted subs on our beautiful Thank you. Leprechaun. Every Monday, Leprechaun swings by. Great way to start the week. Why did you call Lord Panswick wretched? He hides in that manner of his and cares not for his people. I've heard stories whispered in the pews, you know. Oh, classic. What kind of stories? 
that he shoots people on sight. Anyone that strays onto Panswick Manor. Good grief. Yet he will walk into the plough and furrow and bar ale for all and be hailed as our protector. I mean, that sounds great. <laughs> Don't bother him, get free beer. Yeah, exactly. That does sound actually pretty good. Forgive me, pet. I shouldn't get so worked up. Not at all. I appreciate your honesty, Mrs. De Plancy. Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Are you Barrow. sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Hobbs what? Never mind. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Okay, so you said that Mr. Tillett at the front. Yeah. I mean, everyone's got a last name of someone there. There's but Margaret is special because Margaret also has a bench dedicated to her? Yeah. What can you tell me about... Oh, you've heard... Yes, do you know him? Aye, he comes into the village from time to time, gives sweets to the children, hires young men to work his land. He's well-liked around here. I sense some hesitation, Mr. Tillett. Well, we kind of have an unspoken agreement with his lordship. He looks after us, provided we leave him alone. I don't follow. He likes his privacy. Some people do. No one is allowed to visit him. Do you mean to say that he's a bit eccentric? No. I've heard people got fired at when approaching his manor uninvited. Yeah. Good grief. But is this true? Well, I won't be the one to find out. Farewell for now. Ta-ra. 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 Alright. So I guess ask everyone about Lord Panswick? I guess. What do you make of Henry Long? Oh, tell me about Henry Long. Oh, yes, that's right. Ah, uh, yes. The old rivalry between neighbors. Maybe he has a point. You could travel. You're an outsider. I'd expect you to have such a bad opinion. But Henry, he's a beauty lad. We've had <laughs> bad the opinion. Two in the pub over it so we get them both to show imagine. up and start a fight. That's what it is. Can I buy you a drink, Cyril? Oh, yes. oh shit. Then, Follow me. Oh, shit. All right. I like so that then, plan. He turns around and says, Why is a dog like a tree? And I says, I don't know. And he says, because they both lose <laughs> their bark once they're dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, All right. shit. That's Very his favorite dad simple. joke. Well, it's yeah. been a pleasure, but I must be off. Aye, ah, lass. Tough for the drink. You're not too bad for an outsider. <laughs> All right, got him. Oh, sweet. Come yes. talk about trains, trains and spoons. The two that said that they wanted a drink actually just wanted a drink, so we bought them a Amazing. drink. This game's hinting Amazing. is so linear and it's hard to find. Dude, I, I've literally put hundreds of dollars on this fucking more, tab. I shall Let us make uh, I think you've put uh, 12, 12 cents, we would never maybe? Blessed be the Midland Gotta be 16, 18 pence, man. Idiot! Well, you're drinking water now. Oh, I was only counting his drinks because it's two per. We brought him in here six, seven times, made. and this is number eight. Yeah, let's, there you go. Cyril Farnaby, a miserable man with miserable ideas. I will change your mind even if it kills me. <laughs> Everyone, I've made a hashtag. Be sure to retweet it. Twitter activism. Oh my god, Twitter is just such a jumble, man. It's so good. Break down oh. the fucking door. Kick it. I will left click it. Locked, as expected. I need to get inside without attracting too much attention. Prowl. I don't think battering the door down is the solution here. I do Big wish under. to draw. Like no. small time crooks. Why? This key doesn't fit here. He's currently debating the merits of the railway station at the inn. Break into his house. No, that was. 
And we ask the blacksmith no, no. to make us a crowbar for no particular reason. Yeah, can you make us a key? <laughs> the bucket is rust. I have nothing else to. I have nothing else to. What the fuck? The door is. A warehouse. Um, okay, how would you, I mean, with a crowbar, I feel like, right? Like, yeah, where do we, where do we get one? He's currently debating. Um. It's possible that Tilly has one, because he deals with cargo sometimes. Um, I would have thought the blacksmith. Can you trade, can you give the blacksmith the trowel? I'm not sure they would be interested. Oh. Huh. Can you get his I'm sword sure somehow? Would... Give give him the glove. That's not I don't work. Wish to... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check a few places we haven't been to. I suspect the barrels Can you are empty. Ask the gravedigger about the unmarked grave. Have we talked to him since we found that? Maybe not. It's I can't think shot. of anything else. To... Uh, Can't think of anything to talk about, including the unmarked grave. Oh, look, it's fucking Wally. Hello. Oh, Wally. Hello, Wally. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No, he lives out on the moors somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Are you sure well, you don't know well, anything about Hot There you Bar? go. Yeah, I you're right, kid. Much like to find it. No. Goodbye. No. We could conceivably go back to where those kids were playing. What what kids? What are you talking about? Remember the two kids that were playing by the crescent thing Nobody we wanted to touch the crescent? They were like, "No, don't fucking touch oh, it." Oh, that's right. I forgot them. about that. So we haven't been back there and these scenes keep changing. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. Hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh yeah. yeah. Wally took Myrtle. Pardon? He took her and ran off. Don't worry, Jane. I'm what sure if? you wouldn't do such a thing. Where did your brother go? Wait, I don't you know. Connection? Joe, maybe. But I have to wait here for Martel's friends to dry out. Wait, are, are we are we dead? Why is everyone saying F? There's a lot of... Oh! F for... For the doll? Like, what happened? Nope, oh, wow. blipped. Blipped. Oh, that's weird. I didn't lose... I didn't lose connection at all. That's uh, strange. I, my... My resolution went down to like three pixels, but yeah, it's crazy. I haven't dropped a single frame. It's nuts. It was the shortest DDoS of all time. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I, I have. Yes. You have. We aren't supposed to talk about it. Oh. Why not? Would you like to go there? Yes. Yeah. I'm very much uh. Happy. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for me. That sounds like a quest. Yes, but don't tell anyone about it, or I'll be told off. I promise. All right. Please find Myrtle first. I miss her. I will. All right, we're, we're literally finding the Where title. Do you live? Here it comes. Our home is on the other side of the village, Miss. Maybe Wally went back there, or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick oh my him God! So yes. Hard. I'm going to Where kick him live? so hard. Maybe poor Myrtle. I'm going to Goodbye. All right, all right. Come here, you. Come here, you fuck. <laughs> like, dude, I'm gonna track I, down Wally. Fucking I'm, Wally, man. Doesn't understand. I, I I wander around with a ship rib in my pocket. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we fucking go. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
Good day. Jane tells me you've taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? <laughs> it's a bit if mean. I what did. if I fucking she did? Me. Look at this bruise on my leg. That does look quite bad. <laughs> Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin. You don't know what she can be like. Besides, Myrtle is gone now. I've given her to the fair folk. That'll teach her. Oh shit. Who are Go find the, the mushroom folk? circle. The little people yeah. of the moors. I gave Myrtle to them. Little people? You don't mean fairies, do you? We call them fair folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. Yes, there is. Too? And I gave them a doll. All right, where are they? Where can I find these fair folk? Follow the tinker of their tiny belts. I hear them when the wind dies. They dance around the little house. But where is this little house? Just listen for the bells. You'll find it. <sighs> all right, I know Don't where it is. Think about bringing that doll back. That'll just bring bad luck for all of us. Goodbye. Hmm. Yeah, so for any of you who are having some of these... Oh, that was me then. Hmm. Oh yeah, looks like my connection is... Crapping out. Yeah, no, that's actually on me. This is actually my connection having an issue. That's alright, because we record things locally. Hell yeah. So, I'm pretty sure I know where the tinkle of the bells is. I think okay. it's this, this... There's one of two places. I think it's... I think the first one is this little hole here. This little hole. Oh, little hole. Okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right. I have no desire to. I don't. I don't hear anything. Well, I think the other one is by the. Um... Circle of mushrooms. I mean, it's got. Hell yes. Yeah. Fairy it's circle. Abbey. All right. Oh shit. Oh shit. I better not touch them. It looks like something has been buried in the middle. Trowel time. It's trowel o'clock. I've been looking for a lock for this key this whole time. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Thomasina, please stop leaving your toys lying about the place. What happened the last time you left your dolly under the tree? A fox ate it, madame. Yes, it did. Fetch yes, it now, won't it you? Did. Then I'll fix your supper. Yes, madame. Yes, me lord. Okay. Oh, oh shit. I'm interacting. Interactive flashback. I'm interacting. Here we go. Okay. I'm cute there as fuck, you are, dude. Josephine. I won't Hello, let the eat you. hi fairies. Hello. <laughs> Hello, fairies. Hello. Who's that you have there, little bird? This is Josephine. Josephine, she introduced me to the fairies. Hello. Oh, fairies, you say? Yes, Daddy. Do you believe in fairies? Of course. Do you see those mushrooms over there? Yes. Yes. That's the gateway to their kingdom. That's where Josephine and I go to talk to the fairies. Now, listen to me, Thomasina. Yes? Those are magic You're old enough now to hear this. There's no such thing as fairies or talking dolls, my little bird. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear child. I do not wish to upset you. Well, I just want to make mind. sure that you understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Josephine is just a doll, oh. and fairies do not exist. But, Daddy... Science is the great antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. Please, the poison of enthusiasm, that. it's if so good. The poison of enthusiasm is again, amazing. Know that it's hogwash. What oh, wash? you're enthusiastic. Please, have a dose of science. <laughs> hogwash. Did Wally bury the doll, I wonder? Uh-oh. And uh -oh. into the fairy kingdom we go. Come on, let's go. 
Yeah, if this was King's Quest Four, we would start oh. uncontrollably dancing. Oh my god, look at that James face. Ruckler. This literally looks like the dumpster scene in Police Quest. Like, it has this, they both have the same expression and the same pose. Oh my god. What the hell? Hmm. You're coming with me, little fellow. I shall name you Kenneth. Holy shit. I've already done What? Taken one. There is something Why? unsettling about its appearance. There is some Yeah, I don't know, is it this? You can you you can't take it? Perhaps okay, these there wiggling we go. worms are the fair folk young Wally was so fearful of. Alright. How strange. There is a hairpin pierced through the arm. Seems this really good. Handy. I'll keep the it. Lockpick? At least I shall not return from Beauty <gasps> empty handed. Pick. I have successfully stolen a hairpin. So let's go in order. So she's this way. But first, I want to get my shit and my tools for digging up the barrow, which are in okay. here. All right. Not myrtle. Oh, excuse me, gross. With Use door. hairpin with door. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. A hairpin is much more than a hair Kenneth accessory. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. wiggles and this lock should spring right open. And later I can All use it, it on him as a gom jabbar. <laughs> I hate Kenneth. <laughs> I've snapped the hairpin in the process, but I managed to unlock the door. Okay. Well. All right. Let's open this envelope. Envelope time. There's a note inside. Miss Papin, I beg for your forgiveness. A matter of grave urgency has arisen in London, and I cannot join you in Bewley. I packed your usual equipment and pray you will find local assistance in my absence. I look forward to seeing you upon your return. Yours faithfully, Kenneth Murdoch. How very frustrating. Kenneth Wormdock, am I right? I'd better get this to the yeah. alley before Mr. Long comes back. Moving Again. a fully laden crate through the village square was no easy task. <laughs> He's a town it's of like 11 people animate. and we're so unbelievably inconspicuous, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit, Michelle, what a fucking treat to see you, man. Dude, I don't know, how is the whole world not following me, right? I'm like the number one streamer here. Oh my god. Uh, but dude, yeah, no, things are going great. How are you? How are you? Somehow, no one was there to witness it. I keep forgetting you to click forward to advance. You do, and yeah. I don't give up. Because I never give up, do I, mother? Oh, Jesus. Do I, mother? I am mother? as stubborn as my father, as you liked to remind me. <laughs> Damn. This is a really non-functional family, right? Yeah, because, uh, you know, mother also believed in science as the anathema to enthusiasm. All right. Is there Wait. money in there? Where is my money? It's not in here. <laughs> Kenneth, the absolute liability of a man. You liability of a man! What a dunk! Is in here. Amazing. Oops. Specimen trays, shovels. Oh, my chisel, I'll take that. Ah, oh, my lantern. It feels light. There mustn't be any oil inside. I'll leave the rest in the crate. Stanley assured me things would be safe here. I'm like going no around town. And no assistant. This is most inconvenient. Dude, like. Still, <laughs> I've been in worse situations. I've got a tab at the inn for now. I'll worry about money later. I must find that barrow and get on with the excavation. Game saved. Boop. You know, we, we are like breaking into shit, we're stealing things. We like found a necklace and we're like, this is collateral and like starting a fight. We're actually yep. a terrible person. No wonder Bewley doesn't like outsiders, yep. man. All right. It's time to drop Yeah, off that's true. If outsiders are all adventure game protagonists, then. <laughs> go, go, go. You liability of a man. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Take me. 
I present to you, Myrtle. Myrtle! Your revolting oh. doll. Oh, look at that jumping jack. I you so much. <laughs> the doll's covered in worms and dirt. Now, we need to wash it. Had a deal. Hide and seek. Wait, no, wait. Uh, uh, no. No! Ah! Oh! It's a moment of like you... I thank myself for not having children. <laughs> <laughs> now that they're both gone, can you touch the horn thing and crush oh, yeah. yourself forever? Yeah, mine to take. Yeah, let me let me do this. I can't pry the fossil from the rock with my bare hands. What about with, with a, a chisel? chisel? Oh my god, You're defacing a local uh, uh like point of interest. Dude, let me tell you, this kid is gonna be pissed. Splendid. I've managed to extract it in one piece. Splendid! Splendid, absolutely bang up! Alright. Oh, she, is she going hey. into that hole? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. La 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 la! la, la she might la, get la. to the. to the. Oh, yeah, she disappeared. Alright, time to cover it with this rock. Okay. <laughs> Dude, is, is, this, is this a young, giggling child or a snake? <laughs> like. Jane, get out of there. Don't make me come in. Fine. You're going to have to go in. Down the hatch! Curses. The hole is too small for me to fit through. Fortunately, I have a trowel. Oh my god, this girl giggles and slithering. Like, this is terrifying. Where's my trowel? Dude, listen to the audio of look left, look right. In inventory. Ooh, that's some good shit. Yeah, it's good. Good sound. I was always happiest with a trowel in my hand. <laughs> Dude, okay, she, all right. That's those are the words spoken by someone who's been fighting enthusiasm for years. Uncovering <laughs> hidden worlds within the earth itself, clod by clod. Clod by clod. That should do it. She, she's actually less interested in finding the girl. And she's like, I like troweling. She's just fucking shifting dirt oh a little this way, a little that way. She actually oh could fit in 20 God. minutes ago. She was just having such a blast. Look how pissed she is that we're not acting. Look at this. She has her Incredible. hand on her hip. And here yeah. she's going to, you idiots. <laughs> you can see her scowl. Get in there. Absolute liability of men. Jane. Oh, um. We have no oil. Jane? Jane? Jane, come out this... I can't see a damned thing in here. I need a light source. Wait, are we Jane? gonna leave Jane, Jane in Jane? there? I need paraffin to fuel my lantern. All right, up and away. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. All right. Oh wait, we can't. Oh, we can go to the house. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the fucking house and I'm gonna insert this shell in there. All right. Oh, interesting. So let me tell wait, you something. No, I don't understand. What? 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 Huh? You're like interesting. What the fuck are you talking about? That's. I like that order of reactions because most people go <laughs> the other way, right? <laughs> but if we go, if we go to this guy's house, he had this little crescent, yeah. crescent thingy. Oh, that's a crescent moon. Oh, I thought it was like a spiral. Yeah. That's a peculiar idea. Let me get the fuck out of here and go find some She paraffin. thinks that's a peculiar <laughs> idea. Um, uh, where are we going to find paraffin? Where's the paraffin? Can we use the... Uh, I don't know. There's wax melted on our bedside table sort of thing. Yeah, I think... I Actually, that's where I was going to go. I was going to go ask or Mr. Maybe, Mr. Couch. Yeah, we can... We, we can be like, uh, hey, the candle that you put by my bedside is insufficient. Yeah. I, give me some oil for my can lamp. Can I please have a new candle for my room? I'll go upstairs and replace it this evening. Can I have one now? It's not dark yet, Miss Bateman. I never mind. Goodbye. Uh, See you soon. There's nothing else. But, but, uh... I'll leave Cyril in. Okay. Okay. The candle has melted. Can I chisel open my drawer? 
Oh, that's interesting. The drawers don't open. I can't store anything. No, I don't. Ugh. Ugh, this is clown. Uh, let's see. We use a match. The lantern has an ignition switch. It doesn't need lighting with a match. Sorry. I'm sorry, game. I'm not from the 1800s. This is like not... <laughs> like, I've never operated a lantern, okay? I have one of those lanterns that's battery powered where you click it. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, we got, we got some serious tummy time happening here. Oh. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, we're grooming. Oh, we're grooming, we're grooming. Um... Pulling the bell would be quite unbecoming of me. I'm not. Um, who else would I have? Must say, last... I went from the other direction. Let me ask the grave. I can't digger. think of anything. Yeah, no, because he doesn't need to work in the dark. Yeah, raise that leg up. Raise that leg up. That's pretty not. good framing. I don't wish to carry around my heavy excavate. <laughs> I suspect the back. I suspect. There it is, going up. She's such a spry cat now that she's healed. Yeah. Um, who the fuck would have? There's just not a lot of characters that exist. Right. Good day. Yes. I was wondering lantern. if you might be able to spare some lantern oil. I have a tab oh, going over at the end. Us. Paraffin is as rare as hen's teeth in these parts. How much coin do you have? None, I'm afraid. None. If you're in a bind, I can trade you a small amount. A trade, you say? Aye. Aye. Trade? How can I trade you for some What's lantern? a trade? Surprise me. Thanks. Aye. Okay. Okay, what, what well, about this? Here what are some matches. This fossil. Would you trade some of oh, your yeah. paraffin for this fossilized ammonite, Mr. Crozier? Now then, tis a beauty that. It looks familiar. I'll take it off your hands. Wonderful. Let me fetch some paraffin. For I can't time. believe I got it on the first try. That's I have, wild. I have an, I've melted adventure brain. Like, you should see Valentine's Day in this yeah, house, man. <laughs> like... Thank you, Mr. Crozier. <laughs> oh my god, darling, you got me a customized piece of art for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day? Well, I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you lantern oil. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Listen, <laughs> the situation in which this comes in handy, it's going to be really important. My lantern is fueled and ready for action. Ready for action. Right. Let's put this lantern to good use. <laughs> oh, I just did that and my cat freaked out. She's like, what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this heartbeat. Is, Damn. This is so good because we are currently 13 minutes from when we would normally stop. So this is just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, come out at once. The the lantern pulsing with this like heartbeat sound. Oh, that's so good. That's really good. Oh shit! Badger. It's me. What? No, no. We have a chisel. <laughs> Jane. Silly, what are you doing in that smelly old badger's hole? What? You were in there. No, I weren't. Yes, you were. Not true. I was hiding behind that tree over there. I got bored of waiting for you. So where can I find Hobbs Barrow? Go north from the church graveyard, up the hill. You'll see some muddy fields on the horizon. That's Mr. Bryden's farm. Hobbs Barrow is there. Don't tell any grown-ups I told you. And thanks for getting Myrtle back. My pleasure. Thank you, Jane. You've been a great help. This is kind of a cute thematic puzzle where very clearly we need to get Jane there. But then it wasn't Jane, which plays on the horror theme, but then we still found yep. Jane because that's... I shan't be visiting the badges again. 
I was lucky to escape intact. It's just thematically interesting. Yeah. And it also, I mean, it, you know, they could have just skipped it, but it serves to force us to solve the lantern puzzle. Yeah. Dude, she, most people walk. They walk like this with like, you know, their, their palms facing inward towards their hips. She yeah. walks with her palms facing outward like a silverback. Like, look, look like, at her walk. Yeah. She scoops the air backwards as she moves from A She's to B. She's swimming. She's yeah. at, the air is really thick in northern England. It's true. Oh, shit. The, the fucking the crow was in the through middle the of the... Barren moors, eating, eating, eating the worms. For eating the worms. Oh, I reflected nice. upon my visit to Bewley thus far. Dun, dun. The enigmatic Mr. Shoulder and his puzzling disappearance. The enigmatic Mr. Shoulder. You know, like, this is one of the things that I found so funny I about the thing. amazing horror series, The Terror, which is that, like, the names of a lot of the people on there were, like, really cool. Like, Francis Crozier. It's a very authoritative mm, name. But then there was, like, yes. Mr. 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 Hanky. <laughs> Mr. Blinky, <laughs> he's had these like goof ass names. <laughs> the townsfolk of Bewley, who had made it as difficult as they could for me to find Hobbs Barrow. Who be punished as a boy. The suspicion, the wariness in their eyes. Only now I know it was actually fear. Fear. In oh, the yeah. end, it was the innocence of a child, young Jane, that condemned me to my fate. Oh shit. Oh shit. The end. The <laughs> Alright. Oh, dude, my right leg is all cramp is bampus out. I've no desire to wander the furrows. Where's Where is this? What do you want? <laughs> I want to be able to just be that terse and just, uh, just great. What do you want? What <laughs> I mean, do you want? I'm all alone all day. Someone knocks on my door and I'm pissed off. What do you want? I was sitting here. <laughs> Can't you just let me sit here? My name is Thomasina Bateman. Mr. Bryden, I presume. Aye. What do you want, lass? Uh, Hobbs Barrow. I understand Hobbs Barrow is located on your land. Oh, well, yes. Why do you ask? <laughs> I am voice acting is so good Mr. on this. Bryden. I'm writing a volume on the Barrows of England. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting to dig about it. If at all possible, Mr. Bryden. I was invited to Bewley by Mr. Leonard Shoulder, who told me such an excavation would be possible. Leonard Shoulder? <laughs> I haven't seen him in years. The last I heard, he were on death's door. There's to be no more digging there, lass. Not since it went so badly last time. Last time? Last time? Tell me about Lord Panswick. No one talks like that. What Was happened there last time? a previous time? excavation of Hobbs Barrow? Aye. My brother dug it up. Must have been, what, 25 years ago? You see, whatever he found inside, well, it drove him mad. Oh. Yes! Aye. I moved back here to look after him. Poor bastard hanged himself not long after. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Bryden. That's terrible. Aye. Time passes, but they were an awful thing. Uh, okay. Now, let, let's, let's, let's top to bottom. Let's top to bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's Mr. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live here with my wife. And I might be long in I keep jump, hearing Mr. Biden. This farm without too much help. Mr. Biden. This is, this is Joe Biden's farm, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what did your brother find? Samuel. Samuel, what is name? Sorry. What did Samuel find? Old Sam the Biden. I don't know, but something went wrong. Afterward, he could barely speak. You couldn't make out a word. Like that must have been hard. He lost a hand in that excavation too, you know. Goodness oh, me! Oh, we're gonna how? see that hand later. I try hard not to speculate on what might have happened, lass. I'd see him disappear into that barrow, dragging timber in with him. You'd hear him hammering away for hours. I offered him help, but he'd have none of it. Soon enough, he blocked the entrance off. To look at it now, you'd never know the thing were dug up. The landers reclaimed it. Alright. Hmm. Who else was involved in the excavation? Who else? Two others, I believe. Outsiders, perhaps. I can't say for sure. 
I think they left town pretty swiftly afterwards. I lived in Bakewell at the time. I only moved back here to look after Samuel. I took over the farm when he passed away. I see. All right, dude, this guy has a lot to say, man. This he is does, great. yeah, This yeah, is yeah. the He's best talking. man to talk to at the end of this. What can you tell me about your farm? Samuel's fair to side. We're a fortunate family. The soil is fertile here. Crops grow without too much trouble. All the other farmers around here raise livestock. Even Lord Panswick. We grow up feed for them. Most fortunate, Mr. Bryden. Is your wife home? She's out in the fields, lass. Pulling weeds. The curse of such fertile soil. <laughs> Forty years we've been married. I couldn't do it without her, you see. How splendid. Aye. My wife is a fine woman. Are you married, lass? No, no. <laughs> I've had so my want... fair share of proposals, Mr. Bryden, but that's not the life for me. Marriage is an important institution. You'll find a man one day. Hmm. I manage rather well without one, Mr. Bryden. Have you met Mr. Price? He's super desperate. He loves trains. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. You haven't seen Mr. Shoulder for some time. I hear about him now and then, but it must be a good few years since I set eyes on him. He hasn't been here to visit Hobbs Barrow. Not to my knowledge. I heard he's beset by ailments. Don't leave his home often. Hmm. How odd. All right. I assumed How he'd odd. spoken to you about my visit. Not at all. All right, we're almost through it, Sean. We're almost through. What do you think's going to happen? Tell me of Lord Panswick. He keeps us going. Most of our crops go to feed his I I hope what he's, he's going like? to give us some oh, kind of an objective. Yeah. He sends his workers here to pick up the crops. I see. All right, so I think Lord the Lord you has say something Mr. Shoulder is something to do with this shit. What exactly ails him? I'm unsure. It's just what I've heard. It's I wouldn't want to speculate Havana on that syndrome. Is that not my business. <laughs> All right. Mr. Bryden, may I please have your permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow? No. Have you not been listening, lass? Samuel found something in there that's best left to rot. No digging here, lass. I'm going to watch the thing tonight, that's for sure. Oh, shit. Ooh, Sean, how, how do we want to be a manipulative piece of shit at this juncture I of the story? I think the the manipulative one, the third one... Wouldn't you like to find out more? Or wouldn't you like to be able to high-five that lost hand just one more time? Wouldn't you like one to find more time. out more about what Samuel found in there? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. But Samuel boarded up that barra for a reason. You don't want to tempt the same fate, lass. <laughs> Perhaps I can at least see Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. I suppose you've come a long way to be here, lass. All the way from London, Mr. Bryden. Mm. Can I just touch it? Can I just touch Hobbs Barrow? You've told me. <laughs> you a wish little to see bit. Proof of what, Mr. Bryden? I can't the let letter. Tom, Dick, or Harry wander around me fields. Oh my God, he said that. He claims. And it fits. It actually has fits. You wish to see? I can't let. What proof? Thanks. Ta-da. Here is proof that Mr. Shoulder invited me to Bewley in order to excavate Hobbs Barrow. She takes Barrow. a step back from him. <laughs> yeah. Leonard making bold promises, I see. Don't make me regret this. But yes, you can have a look at it. Thank you. Oh my god. Any road, once you've set your eyes on it, you won't be wanting out to do with it. The place gives one a queer feeling. So where can I find it? Through that gate to your left. Just head straight across the top to the field there. After ten minutes or so, you'll see Barra. Sit on a hill ahead. Thank you again, Mr. Bryden. I really do appreciate Dude, it. Dude, ever since Lee pointed out that they do that, like, I, stutter on the... On same. The barra, yeah, on I was the just barra. thinking that. Oh. Oh. Weather turned. This music is hilarious. Yeah, it is. It's, dun, dun. <laughs> I probably should have it's traveling her. music, you know? Dun, 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 bu, bu, bu. Are you Hobbs Barrow? R. <laughs> A-R. I haven't a clue what that could be referring to. R. Finally, here it is. Hobbs Barrow. Oh, well, we beat it. There we go. Done. Oh, indeed, a barrel of a 
most unusual rectangular form. I've not seen something like this since West Kennet Longbarrow. Yes, this shall make a fine entry for my book. This is the see, most boring book ever. I wonder. Yeah. I mean, this is unbelievable. I'm... Oh, psychic visions. That smell. Earthy and sweet. Um, oh. she's kind of weird about this barrow. Oh, yeah. Three. Two. One. Wham. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. Come. Come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Yes, Daddy. Capital. Make sure you remember everything I've taught you. All right. I have a feeling you might find something special. How exciting. I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck. Thank you, Daddy. She digs until she finds a note that says, be unenthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shittiest father ever. All right, it's trowel o'clock. Trowel ball. Now I'm ready. Trowel ball, corner pocket. Are we excavating the fucking... Yeah, dig up the statue. Daddy would be angry. Alright, so... What in fuck's name it's, am I... Uh, okay, it seemed like there were there was stuff in the garden. Leave no... leave no stone unturned, huh? So, like, to the left of the statue, it seems like there's a little... Oh. Bat there. Oh, shit, we got dirt. We got dirt. Yeah. Treasures here. Oh shit! There's like hey, there's another one to dirts. the right. There's yeah. a, I, I see two dirt. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 oh. yeah. No comment on that one. No rule of threes. Like the first one is interesting, the second one is boring, and the third one is the only one that anyone gives a shit about. Yeah. I found it, Daddy. Treasure. Treasure. It's, Daddy, I found the treasure. It's a jar. Look. Well done, little bird. Your first successful excavation. That urn you're holding is very old and precious. Just like you, Take Jasper. good care of it, all right? I will, Daddy. I promise. And then she immediately drops it. <laughs> Everything I dig up was placed there by my father. <laughs> we did it. We beat it. Well, see, I like I like a nice little bit of rain to go out on. So, hey, Sean, what no, do you think about nice. this week's unbelievably solid episode of Mostly Walking? Uh-oh. I fucking dug it. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. No, look. No, I'm not, I'm not fucking... I'm absolutely not going to fix my camera. This is the way that it yeah, is. That, that there you go. That's perfect. <laughs> oh um, yeah. No, that's ideal. <laughs> I uh, no, I thought this was great. I think um, I, you know, Lee was complaining about the the sort of like the pacing and how um, uh, untethered it is, and and how like it's it doesn't have a sense of stakes or um, or like motivation or drive and i feel like today we saw a little bit more of that not in a not in a like a big picture way but in you know we had some real puzzles we had some like things that we solved rather than just stuff that we did yeah, yeah and i think that was that was a good addition that was appreciated and yet like we're still there's this very slow burn on this weird mystery thing. You know, we, we had a jump scare from a badger. Yeah. Uh, which is, that's, that's some act one shit. Like, you know, I'm, I am looking forward to where this is all going to go. Dude, I am so hyped. And my facial expression has a nice, 
ah, like hell yeah, like, something very pleasing just happened. I'm like ah, and let me tell you, this is this is it. We we are going to absolutely disrespect this guy's wishes, the memory of his brother. Oh We're gonna God, excavate yes. this fucking barrow, man. It's in the title. Oh yeah, incredible. Ah. Um, uh, Sean, would you do me the great honor of trying to match my facial expression for our closeout? Uh, what's, what's, what's my, there, over there. <laughs> That's fucking really good. <laughs>